Hey friends, today we're zooming into the tech cosmos to check out the latest stars in the GitHub galaxy. Get ready for a journey through innovations that are reshaping the way we think about coding and the web. From crafting your own AI assistant to turning your browser into a command center, we're uncovering the genius projects that are just a click away. No tech jargon, just cool tools and exciting ideas you'll want to know about. So, grab your gear. We're about to embark on a tech adventure that's going to supercharge your screen with possibilities. Project number one, Skyvern Meet. Skyvern, the smart new way to handle those pesky, repetitive web tasks without breaking a sweat. Picture this, you've got a to-do list on your browser as long as your arm. Fill out a form, check out a new web page, maybe even grab some quick info off a site. Instead of clicking away and typing until your fingers are weary, imagine telling a helpful buddy exactly what you need, and voila, it's done. Skyvern is that buddy, a clever little tool that understands your plain English instructions. It uses the smarts of artificial intelligence to figure out where to click and what to enter on any website, kind of like a super smart robot that knows its way around the internet. The best part? Skyvern is like a chameleon, quickly adapting even if websites decide to change their look overnight. It's got an eye for detail, scanning web pages and finding the right buttons to push, just like you would. No more broken scripts or starting from scratch because a website had a makeover. Skyvern's secret lies in combining artificial intelligence with something called computer vision. Basically, it can see the web page, much like we do. It finds buttons, forms, and links without relying on the code that makes up the website, which is a game changer. Imagine you want to book flights on different airlines for a big trip. Instead of visiting each site and filling out the same information over and over, Skyvern can do that for you in a flash. And if those websites update their layout, no problem. Skyvern adapts and keeps going. This smart tool is not just for tech wizards. Whether you're a small business owner needing to quickly check competitors' prices, or maybe you're running an online store and need to update product listings, Skyvern can save the day. It's designed to be easy for anyone to use, helping you get back to what matters most. While it's still fresh on the scene and will learn and grow, the possibilities it offers are huge. Skyvern is all about making your digital life smoother and letting you reclaim your precious time. So, ready to let Skyvern take the wheel and drive your browser tasks? Get set to level up your productivity. Project number two, Gleam. Let's move to the world of Gleam, a shiny beacon in the programming universe. Think of Gleam as the thoughtful architect of the coding world. Its goal? To ensure every piece of your software is built sturdily and operates like a well-oiled machine. Now what sets Gleam apart in the bustling cityscape of programming languages? Imagine constructing a building. You want it to stand tall and withstand storms, right? Gleam's type safety is like the rigorous building codes ensuring that every beam and bolt is in place, reducing the risk of a collapse. It's meticulous about the materials, data types, used, making sure they're up to the task. This means fewer mishaps when the code goes live, giving you that peace of mind. But Gleam isn't just about avoiding pitfalls. It's about scaling new heights too. It's crafted to handle growing traffic on your apps, like a bridge engineered to support a parade of trucks, not just a trickle of bicycles. This makes it a steadfast companion as your software reaches more and more users. Now, if you're worried about readability, Gleam's got you covered with a syntax that's clear as day. The result? Code that's as easy to read as your favorite book, making team collaborations a walk in the park. And with fewer errors to chase down thanks to its vigilant type checking, your project stays on track, your team stays happy, and your coffee breaks are just that. Breaks, not bug hunting expeditions. The Gleam community is buzzing with activity, continuously adding new tools and libraries to your toolbox. It's a language that's still growing, so hopping on board means you can be part of shaping its future. As you work with Gleam, you contribute to a language that's all about clarity, stability, and longevity. So, if you're looking to build applications that stand the test of time and scale, and you love the idea of coding with a safety net, Gleam could be your new best friend. It's where robustness meets developer joy, ensuring that as your apps grow, they're not just surviving, they're thriving. Project number three, Pooter. Imagine having a whole computer right inside your web browser. That's what Pooter is all about. It's like a virtual desktop that lives in the cloud, but feels as personal as your home screen. With Pooter, you don't need to download heavy software or worry about losing your files if your hardware says goodbye. Everything you need is just a tab away, accessible from any device that can run a web browser. Think of it as your digital backpack. You carry your work and memories with you, no matter where you go or what device you're on. Pewter is designed to be familiar, so there's no steep learning curve. If you've used a computer, 
and I bet you have. You'll feel right at home. You can drag and drop files, open applications, and browse through your documents just like you would on a regular desktop. But there's more. It's not just about mimicking the old ways. It's about enhancing them. Want to share a file with a friend or coworker? It's as easy as sending a link. No flash drives needed. And here's the kicker for the tech savvy. Developers can create new apps for Pooter, which means the platform grows with your needs. Whether it's for gaming, productivity, or just organizing your life, there's potential for an app on Pooter. But of course, with every shiny new gadget come a few caveats. Your work on Pooter is at the mercy of your internet connection. No web, no workspace. And since it's relatively new to the scene, don't expect it to replace your high-powered desktop rig just yet. The applications and features are still blossoming. Moreover, while the idea of a browser-based desktop is cool, it does raise an eyebrow or two about security. You're trusting all your digital eggs in the Puter basket, so make sure it's a basket you can trust. It's wise to keep sensitive stuff close to your chest, or at least encrypted. So if you're someone who loves the idea of a portable workspace and is intrigued by the promise of a cloud-based future, Puter is worth exploring. As long as you've got a solid internet connection and an adventurous spirit, Pewter could well be your gateway to a new way of computing. Just remember, it's an evolving platform, so expect a bit of a journey as it grows. Project number four, decentralized autonomous regulated company, Dark. Let's move to the future of business, where the blockchain isn't just for cryptocurrencies anymore. Meet Dark, short for Decentralized Autonomous Regulated Company, which takes the concept of a traditional company and flips it on its head, replacing office buildings with the blockchain. Imagine a company that doesn't have a central office, but exists entirely on the blockchain. The rules that govern how it operates aren't tucked away in some legal document, but are written in smart contracts, lines of code that execute automatically when certain conditions are met. This is Dark as Playground. With Dark, everything is transparent. All transactions and company decisions are there for the world to see, which could revolutionize trust in business operations. No shady deals or hidden agendas. It's all out in the open. Dark also uses tokens to represent shares in the company, making it possible for anyone to own a piece and have a say in how things are run. The upsides? No need for the bureaucracy that slows down traditional companies. Darcy could potentially save tons of money and time. And because it's on the blockchain, it's not limited by national borders. It's a global entity from day one. But here's the reality check. This is pretty new stuff. The legal world is still figuring out how to deal with blockchain-based entities. And if you're not blockchain savvy, the learning curve is steep. Plus, in the rare case something goes wrong with a smart contract, it can be tough to fix because these contracts are designed to be immutable. Then there's the question of security. The blockchain is secure, but it's not foolproof. A bug in a smart contract could be exploited, leading to serious issues. And because Dark operates differently from a traditional company, it might face unique challenges we haven't even thought of yet. If you're a visionary entrepreneur or an investor looking for the next big thing, Dark might just tickle your fancy. It's a bold step into a new era of decentralized business. But as with all frontiers, there are risks alongside the vast opportunities. The future is unwritten, and Dark is vying to be its author. Just strap in for a wild ride. Blockchain-based business is still the Wild West, and pioneers like Dark are leading the charge. Project number five, Electron. Electron is like a magic wand for developers who want to turn their web applications into desktop applications without learning a whole new set of programming languages. Imagine being able to create apps that work on Windows, Mac, and Linux using just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The same stuff used to build websites. Here's the scoop. Electron acts as a bridge between web technologies and desktop environments. It wraps your web application in a sort of mini web browser tailored just for it. This means you can write your application once and then run it as a desktop app, complete with its window, icon, and file menus across different operating systems. No more wrestling with complex desktop development environments or feeling tied down to one operating system. But wait, there's more. Electron doesn't just make your life easier by letting you use familiar web technologies. It also hooks you up with powerful features that are usually the domain of native applications. We're talking about things like accessing the file system, creating custom menus, sending notifications, and more. This is why some of the most popular applications out there, like Slack and Visual Studio Code, are built using Electron. However, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. Electron apps can be a bit hefty, because they carry around a version of Chromium. That's the engine behind Google Chrome. 
This means they can use more memory and disk space than their native counterparts. Plus, if you're not careful with how you manage resources, your app might not run as smoothly as you'd like. Electron is also an open source project, which is awesome because it means a community of developers is constantly working to make it better. You can jump into the fray, report issues, suggest improvements, or even contribute code. And since it's used by big names in the industry, you can trust that it's got some serious street cred. In summary, if you're a web developer looking to step into the world of desktop applications without leaving the comfort of your web development languages, Electron is your ticket. Just be mindful of the trade-offs in performance and size, and you're set to join the ranks of developers who are blurring the lines between web and desktop applications. Project number six, local GPT. Imagine having a conversation with a robot that can write stories, answer questions, or even generate code. That's the kind of stuff large language models, LLMs, like GPT-3 do on the internet. But what if you could have this superpower right on your own computer without needing to be online? Meet local GPT. Local GPT brings the genius of GPT-3 directly to your device. This means you can ask it to do its magic even if you're offline, camping in the woods, or just don't want to use your data. Plus, it's a big win for privacy. Whatever you ask, local GPT stays between you and your computer, with no internet middleman. But here's the catch. To get local GPT running, your computer needs to be pretty strong, especially in the brain department. We're talking about your CPU and GPU. These LLMs are like hungry monsters for processing power and memory. Also, the models themselves are massive. They can take up a lot of space on your hard drive. On the bright side, local GPT is like having your personal robot helper that can write, code, or chat with you anytime, anywhere. It's perfect for developers who want to try out new ideas, writers looking for inspiration, or anyone curious about AI and wanting to experiment without the whole world watching. Local GPT is also an open source project, which means it's continuously being improved by a community of smart folks. You can even join in, suggest changes, or add new features. It's a team effort to make Local GPT even more awesome. In essence, Local GPT is a game changer for those who value privacy, need offline access, or just love tinkering with cutting edge technology. Just remember, you need a beefy computer to handle it, and there's still a lot we're learning about making the most out of these AI models. Whether you're coding a new app, writing a novel, or just curious about AI, Local GPT opens up a world of possibilities right on your desktop. Project number seven, WinterJS. In the vast universe of web development, there's a shiny new star that's been catching the eyes of developers worldwide. Its name, WinterJS. This project is like a magic wand for those who love building web applications, but also want to dip their toes into the futuristic waters of WebAssembly, WASM. WebAssembly, for those who might not be familiar, is a bit like a superhero for web browsers. It lets you run code super fast, almost as if it were native to your computer. That's great for things that browsers usually struggle with, like heavy calculations or graphic stuff. However, making WebAssembly and your regular JavaScript play nicely together can sometimes feel like trying to make cats and dogs become best friends. Possible, but tricky. Enter WinterJS. It's designed to be the peacemaker, the translator, the bridge between the world of WebAssembly and the familiar land of JavaScript. With WinterJS, you can use WebAssembly modules in your web applications without having to become a wizard in both realms. It simplifies the whole process, making it more like adding another library to your JavaScript project, rather than performing a complex integration ritual. But why bother with WinterJS and WebAssembly? Performance is the big sell here. For tasks that need a lot of computing power, WebAssembly can run these much faster than traditional JavaScript. This means your web applications can do more without slowing down, giving users a smoother, snappier experience. Now, as shiny and promising as WinterJS might seem, it's worth noting a couple of things. Firstly, while WebAssembly opens doors to high-speed performance, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Not everything needs the turbo boost WebAssembly provides. Plus, diving into WinterJS means you're venturing into relatively new territory. The ecosystem around WebAssembly is still growing, so there might be fewer resources or community support compared to more established technologies. WinterJS stands as a beacon for those adventurous souls in web development looking to harness the power of WebAssembly without getting lost in its complexities. It promises a future where web applications can run complex tasks effortlessly, all while keeping the development process straightforward and familiar.
Whether you're building the next hit game for browsers or a data-intensive scientific application, Winter.js might just be the tool to bring your project to the next level. Project number eight, AppWrite. A tool that's been creating quite a buzz in the tech community for its role in simplifying the back-end development process. Imagine you're building a house. The foundation, the plumbing, and the electrical system are crucial, but they're not what make your house unique. Similarly, in the world of app development, the back-end, like databases, authentication, and storage, is essential but often not where developers want to spend most of their creative energy. This is where AppWrite enters the scene, promising to handle all the back-end heavy lifting so developers can focus on creating the unique parts of their apps. AppWrite is like a Swiss army knife for developers building web, mobile, or Flutter applications. It's a back-end as a service, BAAS platform, which means it provides a set of tools to manage the server-side things like databases, user authentication, file storage, and more, all out of the box. This can be a huge time saver, allowing developers to get their apps off the ground faster and more securely. One of the coolest things about AppWrite is its commitment to being developer-friendly. It's open source, meaning its code is freely available for anyone to use, modify, and contribute to. For those concerned about data privacy or wanting full control over their apps backend, AppWrite can be self-hosted. This means you can run it on your own servers, keeping all your data under your roof. Now, while AppWrite sounds like a dream come true, it's essential to remember that no solution is perfect for every scenario. AppWrite does a lot of the back-end work for you, which is fantastic for speeding up development. However, this might come with a learning curve for those who like to control every detail of their back-end or for projects with highly specific back-end requirements that fall outside of what AppWrite offers. Despite these considerations, AppWrite's ease of use extensive feature set, and active community support make it an attractive choice for many developers. Whether you're building a small hobby project or a scalable application for millions of users, AppWrite promises to be a powerful alley in your development journey, simplifying backend complexities and letting you focus on bringing your creative visions to life. Project number nine, Mitosis. Mitosis, an innovative project that is changing the way developers think about building user interfaces, UIs, for web applications. At its core, Mitosis is all about flexibility, efficiency, and reusability. Imagine having a toolbox that not only helps you create stunning, interactive UIs, but also ensures that the components you build can be easily adapted and reused across different projects or platforms. That's exactly what Mitosis offers. In the world of web development, creating user interfaces that are both attractive and functional is a significant part of the job. However, Traditional methods can sometimes lead to repetitive work, inconsistencies across projects, and challenges in maintaining and updating UI components. Mitosis addresses these issues head-on by allowing developers to design components that are not just reusable, but also adaptable to different environments and frameworks. This means you can create a button, a form, or an entire layout once and then deploy it seamlessly in React, Vue, Angular, or any other front-end framework. One of the most appealing aspects of Mitosis is its emphasis on a component-based architecture. This approach breaks down the UI into individual components, each responsible for a specific piece of the user interface. This not only makes the development process more organized, but also enhances the scalability and maintainability of your applications. You can think of it as building with Lego bricks. Each piece has its purpose, and you can combine them in countless ways to create something unique and functional. Additionally, while Mitosis provides a powerful bridge between different front-end frameworks, developers still need to have a good understanding of the target framework to fully leverage the capabilities of the components they create. Despite these considerations, Mitosis represents an exciting evolution in web development, offering developers a more efficient and flexible way to build user interfaces. Its approach not only saves time and resources, but also encourages a more modular and maintainable code base. Whether you're a seasoned developer looking to streamline your workflow or a newcomer eager to explore the possibilities of modern web development, Mitosis provides the tools and flexibility to bring your creative visions to life. And there you have it, folks, the roadmap to elevating your tech journey with today's top trending GitHub projects. Each project brings its unique flair to solving modern challenges, unlocking new possibilities. Don't forget, the path to innovation is paved with curiosity and persistence. So dive in, explore and transform your ideas into reality hit subscribe to stay updated with more insights and let's keep pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve together see you in the next video